Hi, everyone. I'm Marty Stetzer, president of EKT Interactive in Houston. I'm pleased today to introduce another senior associate, Mr. Bruce Carlisle. We originally met at the Argus Crude Oil Summit in 2015, where I learned that Bruce had over 40 years of industry experience. He started in marketing with Shell and then moved to crude supply operations at Champlin Petroleum. He then spent 30 years with global testing, inspection, and certification giants, Intertech and Bureau Veritas, part of what he calls the tick industry. As you will see, Bruce brings a unique insight on the importance of accurate crude oil quality measurement across the midstream and downstream supply chain. In his video, Bruce will present the assay results for crude oils with different densities. The industry measurement for crude oil density is from the American Petroleum Institute. It is called API gravity and is expressed in degrees API. The quality of any crude oil and its value to the refiner is directly related to its API gravity. As shown in the chart, the API gravity of gasoline, a high quality product, is about 60 degrees API. But the API gravity of a low quality product, like asphalt, is around 11 degrees API, just above water. The average crude oil is around 30 degrees API. To summarize, the lighter the crude oil, the higher the API gravity, and the more valuable that crude oil is to the refiner. We're well into the presentation today, of course, and I will refer briefly to the slide what an assay tells us. You can see the different crude oils, the whole crudes, and the few petroleum products that they make. To the left of the screen that you're looking at or slide, you'll see the percent of volume of petroleum products made. Now, if we look at the demo, I picked a Western Canadian Select, which is a composite of seven different crudes coming from Canada. The API uh, ranges in the 19 to 22 API. Very heavy crude. The Eagle Ferds that go from 20 API to 70 Let's look at some of these samples I've selected from the laboratory that are actually in the condensate. So they're over 45. This is 46.6. If we let this sample sit for an hour, you'd actually normally get a little layer of petroleum uh, paraffin that would settle out. It's a very paraffinic crude. This is another condensate, very, very dark. But if I shake it, the camera can pick up. It's very light. And then, of course, we get into condensates that can be water white. This has a little yellow hue to it. It's a little off color, but it's in the 57, almost 60 degrees API. Now, back to the demo. The two crudes I've selected that are notably quite different is the very popular, uh, well, it's a waxy crude that was popular the last year out of the Rocky Mountains. It's about a 28 gravity. comes from the U Uinita Basin which is an Indian reservation, a lot of crude production there. And the West Texas Intermediate, 37 to 42 gravity, that's highly, highly traded in benchmark crude. So you can see the lighter WTI and the heavier waxy crude is what we're looking at. Now let's start to look at the products. We start with an initial, I, uh, uh, initial uh, IVP to 60 degrees uh, API. And really all we see, for this purpose, we have cotton to reflect gas that would be in here, uh, C1 through C5, propane, butane, etc. We're looking at something in the 60 to 280 degrees F. Look at the two crudes. You see the lighter WTI reflects a higher volume already in the light material, and the heavy crude is less. Now we're into the naphtha. And again, different people, refiners have different nomenclature. 
But for this purpose, this is kind of the average that people use. Here's a naphtha. We're at 280 to 450. See the differences in volume? I'll go through this a little quicker. Now we're into the jet fuel or kerosene cut. And we're all the way into the diesel, the 550 to 650 range. This is the waxier crude. It doesn't really move. This is the lighter crude. It's a lot uh, more uh, viscous. So in a laboratory condition, the ASTM test, that's atmospheric distillation, goes from initial out to about 650. It can be pushed a little more, but we're really right up here to the atmospheric bottoms. Now we would go in a lab into the high vac or pot still to go from 650 out to 1050. So we'll go from a light gas oil to a heavy vacuum gas oil. Let's go out to the RIZ, 1050 plus. And now, here's the heavy Uanita Basin cut, and here's the volume make. It's like almost twice as much resid that the waxy crude makes as opposed to the WTI. So now I think you've got a pretty good uh, feel for the takeaway that in a full crude assay of 9, 10, 11 cuts, this is 9, you see the product make and you're starting to see the heavier crude make less valuable products in the heavy resid area. The lighter WTI, as you would expect, would make more hard cut valuable products uh, and less in the vacuum resid. That's really the takeaway that I wanted you to see for yourself today. Bruce is now sharing his extensive knowledge of crude oil quality with our audience and through Carlisle Commodity Consulting, also based here in Houston. Should you need more information, on this important topic or assistance from Bruce, please contact us at www.ektinteractive.com. Thanks for your time.